Hello guys, today I will be showing you how to uh, edit out uh, the backgrounds and photos to make things like this. All of these things had backgrounds in them. Um, we're going to be making a skull and cross AK-47s. Uh, basically, as you can see here, the skull has uh, the white background, which everybody hates. It's very annoying. So. Seeing how it has that, we need to get that out, or it will just take up all of the, uh, like, this will show up in the photo, which obviously we don't want. <clears throat> so now, you want to make sure that you uh, open this as a background and not just drag and drop that there. That is not what you want to do. You want to, uh, you don't want to do that. <clears throat> what you want to do is you want to go to File. You want to go to open. You want to go to this the picture that you want to take off the background on. Right here. As you can see, this does have the white background here. Oh, and yeah, we're going to have some background music. Uh, the, the video description will contain the, uh, the link to this uh, video that I'm watching that has this music. I, t I personally like this type of music. Anyways, now that we've done that... Uh, you just want to, oh, okay, you can see this little lock button up here. Um, basically what that is, it means the background is locked on this photo. Meaning, so you can't edit it or anything like that. Just, I don't know why they do it in Photoshop, but the background's always like this. You, you undo this by double clicking and just pressing OK. What that does is it transforms it from the background to just a normal layer with unlocking it. And then you want to press this little uh, new layer button down here. This creates a completely transparent layer. You just want to move that underneath the uh, background photo. So when you delete the outsides of this, it will become invisible. The background will become invisible. So now that you've done this, you just want to use... Uh, you can. There's two ways to do it. You can either just use this tool and just click around like this. which is usually a pretty good way to do it but the magic wand tool is faster and this is a CS6 in case you don't know what that means uh, it's the newest version of Photoshop <clears throat> and yeah I don't know why I said that I forgot but anyways uh, you just press alt which changes a little plus in there to minus uh, and then you can just sweep over this holding alt and left click with the uh, quick select tool out and now you can see that there's a pretty neat line but it's not perfect but this doesn't need to per be perfect it's just going to be in 255 by 255 for my steam picture and now that you've done that for the uh, the spaces inside that will show the white background you just want to uh, you want to left click in there, and it will oh no alt left click in there, and that will uh, deselect uh, that will deselect this white part right here, in between like the the jawbone and the teeth. Basically, that's just uh yeah, exactly what I just said. Deselects it, and now if you were to press delete right now, it would just delete the skull and keep the complete background. I'll show you this now. So that's what that did. Just press Control, control Z to undo that. Basically what you have to do now is you right click and select inverse. Basically what this does, it selects everything everything else but what you had selected. But these for some reason still stay selected. I It's a good thing but I don't know the logic behind it. I'm sure there's a good logic. Anyways, all I have to do is press delete now. That deletes the entire background and leaves the uh, transparent layer underneath it. And then you just deselect, and now you have a pretty decent looking skull here. What you do now, very important, you do not just go to save as or save, you go to save for web. Basically what this does, it makes it to where it does not add the white background back in, because if you didn't, if you just press save as, it would automatically add the background back in. It's, it's a pretty stupid thing, but then all, all you have to do now is press save, save it to whatever file you want. I have 
a file here ready for the convenience of it. Press save. And now, where I saved it right here, I'll have a decent looking skull with no white background. This was the original. You can see how there's no background now. Now, <clears throat> now that you've done that, you can just exit out of that and then go to uh, whatever you want to go to. Well, you open up a new one of these to create something on top of it. That, that, right, that right there is the end of me showing you how to delete backgrounds. Now I'm going to be showing you how to um, resize it after I make this. So I'm just going to go ahead and make this off of a camera real fast. Okay, I'm now done making the photo. It was pretty simple to make. But now once you're done doing that, you can save this as a JPEG or a PNG, whatever you prefer. And don't save it as safe for web, just save it as normal. Um, let's name it Skull and AKs. And I'm just going to save this as a JPEG, just easier. And make sure you save it as quality maximum. It doesn't really take that much more space. And now we find where we save this to. I'm not sure where I did save it to exactly, so I'll just search for it. Skull and AK. There we are. Open file location. Okay, I saved it to my desktop. Where is it saved to? On my desktop, I don't know. Where, where the hell is this? Okay, we're just gonna do that again. Skull and AKs. Open file location. Move this here. No. I will find you. And I will kill you. Where are you? There it is. I'm blind. Okay, now as you can tell, this is in 1920 by 1080. This is showing you how to resize it now. So just go to uh, your Windows little, your Windows button down there and type in Paint. I think all Windows come with this, but I'm not sure. Don't correct me if I'm wrong. And now that you've done that, all you have to do is press this little resize button up here pixels nine you want to save it as uh, whatever you want to save it as but, but make sure you take off uh, maintain aspect ratio this is going to be for the steam avatar which is 255 by 255 and I just press OK and then you just press save that's how you resize it and now on here it doesn't look exactly right but uh it's okay that doesn't matter this is just a test photo anyways. Now you just put it wherever you want it. Uh, thank you.